Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity skills integration challenge. Before coming to our activity, uh, friends, if you like to get my future uploading video info directly into your Gmail, you can subscribe this channel right now. Well, coming to our activity, here we can see a tracing table. Also, we will go through the scenario of this packet tracer activity. In this skills integration challenge, your focus is OSPF v2 advanced configurations. IP addressing has been configured for all devices. You will configure OSPF v2 routing with passive interfaces and default route propagation. You will modify the OSPF v2 configuration by adjusting the OSPF timers. Finally, you will verify your configurations and test connectivity between end devices. We will go through the requirements. Use the following requirements to configure OSPF v2 routing on RA and RB. Here we can see uh, the devices, the routers RA and RB. OSPF v2 routing requirements, process ID 1, network address for each interface, OSPF priority set to 150 on the LAN interface of RA router, OSPF priority set to 100 on the LAN interface of RB router. Set the hello interval to 5. Set the dead interval to 20. So we will configure these uh, routers RA and RB now. First of all, we will go to the router RA. And here we can see the directly connected network that is 192.168.1.0 uh, slash 24 uh, for all these routers for RB as well as RC. Now we will come to RA. Enable configure terminal. Here we are going to give a router OSPF process ID as specified one. And here we are going to give the directly connected network details 192.168.1.0. And now we have to give a while the guard bits. So we had seen it's a slash 24, it is 0.0.0.255, and the area 0. Now we will set a hello interval, dead interval and priority. So we have to go to the interface gigabit authorant 0 slash 0. Here we will set IP OSPF hello interval as specified 5. IP OSPF dead interval it is 4 times of the hello interval that is 5 into 4 it's 20. And IP OSPF priority 150 now we will configure on the router rb enable configure terminal here we are going to give router ospf then the process id as specified one then here we are going to give the network 192.168.1.0 and the wild card bits 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 also the area 0 now we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to set IP OSPF hello interval 5 IP OSPF dead interval as 20 also we have to set IP OSPF priority Hundred. Coming to the next requirements, use the following requirements to configure RC. Here we can see that router RC, OSPF v2 routing, OSPF v2 routing requirements, process ID1, network address for the LAN interface, set all interfaces to passive by default, so but allow OSPF updates on the active LAN interface. Here we can see that interface that is gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Uh, set the router to uh, distribute a default route so we have to set this uh, default route to the internet configure a directly attached default route to the internet ospf priority set to 50 on the lan interface set the hello interval to 5 set the dead interval to 20 we will do these configurations on this router rc coming to our topology here we can see this router rc is connected to this uh, internet um, with the exit interface 
here we can see that serial zero slash zero slash zero uh, we, we recreate this information while configuring we will come to rc cli enable configure terminal first of all we will set ip root 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0.0.0.0 space 0, .0, .0, .0 space serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 right now we will go to router osp of process id 1 and first of all we will give default information originate also we will give the network 192.168.1.0 and the wildcard bits 0.0.0.255 also uh, area 0 now we will set all the interface as passive uh, except the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 so here we have to give a passive interface so here we can see uh, we can use a default a suppress routing updates on all interfaces so here we can use a default so except uh, this gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 we can remove that no passive interface that interface name we have to give that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 Now we will go to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will set IP OSPF uh, hello interval 5 IP OSPF uh, dead interval 20 also IP OSPF priority 50 Done now we will come to uh, the next a note they are given a note here issue the clear IP OSP of process command on RC only if the default uh, root does not propagate you know we will check that if required we will give this command clear IP OSP of process verify your configurations and test connectivity OSP of neighbors should be established and routing tables should be complete RA should be the DR RB should be the BDR all three routers should be able to ping the web server so we will verify these uh, configurations now first of all we will let check the neighbor adjacency established or not on all these routers here we can see uh, for this router ra uh, the neighbors rb and rc uh, for rb it's ra and rc and for rc it's ra and rb uh, there they give the id we will check that uh, coming to RA enable here we are going to give show IP OSPF neighbor for this RA it's got two neighbor here we can see that 192.168.1.2 uh, it's RB also we can see the state it's a BDR that is backup designated router so as specified uh, they told RB should be the BDR yes it's correct also we can see uh, the next neighbor uh, here we can see that uh, this is the router RC also we can see the state it's a DR other coming to the router RB enable show IP OSP of neighbor here we can see the details here we can see the neighbors uh, 192.168.1.1 it's uh, RA also we can see it's a state is a DR that is designated router also we can see the other neighbor that is a RC uh, 209.165.200.225 is DR other coming to the router RC show IP OSP of neighbor here we can see the details here we can see the router RA and RB here we can see this RA state is a DR designated router and here RB uh, it's a backup designated router so here we can see a specified RA should be the DR RB should be the BDR yes it's correct now we will check the routing table coming to RA enable show IP root here we can see the default root it's propagated coming to RB 
show IP root yes here we can see that it's propagated uh, if it's not coming here we can give this command uh, that is a clear IP or ISP of process keep in mind we have to give this uh, uh, clear IP or ISP of uh, process command in this uh, router RC now we will try to ping from these uh, routers RA, RB and RC to this uh, web server coming to RA ping to our web server here is the IP address here we can see success rate is 100% coming to RB ping to web server here we can see success rate is 100% coming to RC ping to our web server success rate is 100 percent well uh, that's all in this packet tracer activity skills integration challenge uh, here we can see our completion status 70 out of 70 friends if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to share to your friends and if you like to get my future uploading video info directly into your gmail you can subscribe our channel right now thank you